Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. My name is Grovana and I will be your host. This is part 49 and we are currently in the test labs of Vault 87, which is where they experiment on human beings, as you can see here, and turn them into super mutants. This guy right in front of us is a friendly super mutant, one of the only very few in the Fallout universe. Uh, I believe there's one in Fallout New Vegas too, but he's just sort of like a random encounter dude. Uh, this, guy named, this guy's name is Fox and he wants us to rescue him, get him out of this cell, and to do so we need to go to the end of the hall, activate some sort of mechanism, probably through a terminal, which will undo all of these locks and release all of these abominations. So let's take stock uh, in what we're going to fight. So there's nothing in there, which is good. It looks like there's something in there, and it's a centaur. That's not that bad. We can also open these one by one if you want to do it that way. However, it's not worth the lock picks. You can see there it's a very hard lock, and that is a hard terminal. Uh, we do have the know-how, the ability, the elbow grease to do all of that. But, uh, yeah, it's not worth it. There's another centaur in there. And it looks like there's a human male in there, and he's friendly. Let's see, hard and very hard. Yeah, let's just go ahead and save all that stuff. Save all the lock picks and everything. For the terminal. Alright, so it looks like there's people in here too. One super mutant, two super mutant. Kind of creepy. They're only being lit by the shock of these generators. Okay, so let's take out our sniper rifle and probably only gonna take one shot, but just to make sure. Pop goes the weasel. There we go. I feel like I've used that phrase too many times, but that's just what I feel every time I shoot one of these guys. Okay, yeah. Wanna save con or conserve ammo here. So, if you could, like, come out of that hallway so I'm not at a choke point. If you could, like, walk through that door. Uh, just be a, just be a bro. Walk through that door so I could shoot you with bats with my gun, please. Okay, I guess you're not going to do it. I guess you're smarter than the average, uh, super mutant. That's kind of cool. He, like, died and fell on the terminal. Okay, let's loot these two brutes. 556 and 556. Not bad. That's okay. Alright, looks like we have... A maintenance terminal here, locked average, and we also have the fire control console. Well, I'm going to take full advantage of our 100 science and see what this terminal has for us. So, as usual, let's start with the bottom three. Assistant. Nope. Arranging. There we go. Good. Having a lot of good luck so far with uh, these terminals lately. Okay, let's see what we have here. ISO room one door emergency release. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I see what this is for. So this is basically to allow you to only release Fox and you don't have to deal with everyone else. But that's no fun, is it? So we're going to just release everybody. So let's activate the fire control console. You've accessed the Vault 87 medical wing fire control console. Once activated, the fire alarm can't be canceled. Activate it. Okay, now all doors should be released, which means we have to deal with two centaurs and whoever that other guy was. But he looked to be friendly, although I'm not seeing a friendly... Uh, blip anymore. Yeah, now he's not friendly. Let's see what happens, shall we? Who will win in this in the battle of the ages between a centaur and this guy named Sid? That's weird. I thought this guy didn't have a name. Yeah, they literally cannot see me at all. But I don't want to be in the way of uh, this tongue whipping. Okay, so yeah, he's not friendly anymore. Uh, it's This was always weird to me. He'll appear friendly, like, until you release it. Until you release him. Let's see what he has. Lead pipe and Merc grunt outfit. Centaurs never really have anything uh, of value. I don't think there's any background information on Sid, even if we were to hack the terminal. Uh, let's try it, actually. I just want to... Because, like, I never, know what the, I never knew what this guy's deal was. It was so odd to me. He appears friendly until you release him, and then he instantly attacks you. I never got that. Alright, so I've unlocked Sid's terminal. Let's see if it says anything about him. I don't think it will. Identify specimen, actually. Subject C376. Unlock door. Terminate specimen. Danger. Do not enter room. What does that do? Oh, wow. Okay, so it actually shoots fire. So, you can kill these guys, too, if you hack the terminals. Uh, or, I guess you can identify the specimens. May There's gotta be... Because he's named, you know. His name is Sid. There's gotta be some way that you could identify what who that guy was. And I'm sure someone will tell me in the comment section below. What in the world is going on in here? I don't know, it looks like there's like one more enemy in there, but I, I think he might be stuck in the walls. That's kind of weird. Yeah, okay. Well now, uh, Fox's door should be open. Yep, it is. Okay, so let's talk to Fox. Finally. Freedom! True freedom! Ha ha ha! I cannot thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I pictured this moment in my mind. 
and it feels far better than I'd imagine. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. All right, and we've gained karma, and if you were expecting that he was going to betray us and try to kill us, nope, he's actually a totally friendly, uh, cool dude, and I think you can only have him as a follower if you have positive karma, actually, so that tells you that, of course, he's a good guy. Uh, and you'll also notice he's equipped with a super sledge, and I don't think he can die. That might be wrong, actually. Yeah, I don't think he can die. I think it's New Vegas where your followers can't die unless you turn on, like, um, whatever that mode was, like, ultimate mode or whatever. So, we're gonna help Fox take these guys out. Oh my god, okay. Oh, wow, the, that's a master. That's a master. That's a master. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to be more careful than we're being so far. Um, I don't like shooting their backs because if you shoot their backs, it, it does, like, no damage. That's not a good place to use vats because we were right behind a wall. All right. Let's just unload into this guy's brain. Look at my sweet, shiny stealth armor. Okay, that's one master down. Hopefully the other guy isn't a master. Uh, he is. Yeah, I kind of figured. Makes sense. As soon as you get a companion to help you, they're going to give you the hardest uh, enemy types. Okay, let's take a look at Fox's health. He's, he's still, like, pretty much at full health, so... He's also really strong. Uh, let's heal up a bit here. We are taking quite a bit of damage. Okay, 556. Actually, a Chinese assault rifle, so we can repair the one that we have in our hands. And what do you have? 556. And a Chinese assault rifle. And I do see a terminal over here, but it is broken. All right, let's repair the Chinese assault rifle really quickly and drop this one because we can't repair it any further and now we will continue to follow fox let's see we have a sniper and we have two more shots with the hunting rifle so we'll use that really quickly i guess once you start getting the mutant masters they switch to automatic weapons and you don't really get the hunting rifle ammo as much which is kind of sad i'd rather use the hunting rifle Okay, so he's going that way. I wonder what's in here. I'm not sure. It requires key. Okay, so we can't. Uh, you don't need Fox to go get the Gek. He's right, though, that there is a super high level of radiation. Okay, let's help this guy out with uh, two sneak shots really quickly. There's one, and there's two, and he should probably be able to take care of the rest. Don't shoot me. Shoot Fox, dude. Shoot the guy running at you with a super sledge. Alright, teamwork. Teamwork OP. Okay, 556. Alright, so we've got some sort of room in there, and I'm not sure what's back here, but that's the room where we want to go to. That's a hard lock. We're not going to bother with that, considering we only have, like, three lock picks left. Okay. Let's see. We have a terminal here, which is average lab technician. Let's go ahead and open it, just to see if we have any options. One, two, there we go. I don't know why, also. Oh, you know what I realized? The more science points you have the less options there are so there are only like four or five words in there which means we have like a one in five chance to open it and we have four tries so yeah because we have a lot of science i never really rushed science before but now because we did in this let's play hacking terminals is a lot easier let's unlock the storage room door let's read this D -d -d rad suits okay notice 12 venting radiation into the area and yeah so basically this place is overrun with radiation is what they're saying this is probably the door that it just opened oh hello there okay brute shouldn't be a big deal pop 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 goodbye okay let's see 556 all right um all right let's continue fox Shouldn't be too far now. Let's see. Hello there. Another master. Let's unload all of our bad power into his face with our Chinese assault rifle. Alright, it's good to know that now we can kill a master in like one VATS combo with a Chinese assault rifle. And we've also leveled up. That's always nice to see. Let's see what we can do. Let's put speech as close to 100 as we possibly can. Let's take a look if we have any new perks here. Infiltrator should be new. With Infiltrator, if a lock is broken and can't normally be picked again, you can attempt to pick it again one more time. This includes locks previously broken by a forced locked attempt. This is what I was talking about in the last episode. You know, if you try to open stuff and it breaks, if you try to force open it or whatever and it breaks, you can try it again. That's never been a real big problem because I'll just save and open it if I am running low on um, 
picks. Computer Wiz, fail a hack attempt and get locked out of a computer. Not if you're a computer whiz with this perk, you can attempt to rehack any computer you were previously locked out of. It's the same thing, but for terminals. Tag, uh, no light step. Mm, light step's kind of good in Fallout 3, but I don't know. I kind of want to do Lawbringer, but I kind of don't as well. Robotics expert will help us out with a certain quest. Fast metabolism. That's actually pretty good. We might get that. Here and now, I'm going to save that for 29. Uh, and I told you I'm not going to do intense training anymore because that's just too boring. Let's go with fast metabolism. With the fast metabolism perk, you gain a 20% health bonus when using stim packs. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. Alright, so we have another door here. And does this terminal work? Nope. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, how many more mutants we got? Jesus Christ. I just want to get the Gek and get out of here. I don't want to kill your whole race. Okay, we have at least one more, another master here. But as we saw the last time, we should be able to take him out with one. Ooh, just one that time. Yeah, we are OP now, I think. Okay, let's see. A whole bunch of lockers. This one's not empty, and it has four steps and a knife. None of which I'm interested in. Some more 556 rounds. Anything on this, uh... What is the word for this? Shelf. God. It's just when you're when you're doing a let's play, it's like it takes all the words that you should know out of your brain. It's like try to find the words. Try to find the words for simple things. Like I come up to this, I'm like, what is this thing? The thing these things are on. Of course it's a table, but it's like, that's let's plays. Okay. Okay. You stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. I know my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Alrighty. Okay, so if we go past that door, let's see if we can see. It should give us rads, right? Yeah, oh god, oh my god. Did you see that? It was like over 100 rads a second. So basically, it's a no-go. So luckily for us, we have radaways. We actually got radiation poisoning from walking in there for that split second. Let's activate the chamber terminal while he's doing that. Seal radiation chamber. I don't know why we'd want to do that. Emer emergency radiation purge? What does that do? Sounds like it would, it would uh, purge all the radiation out of the area and it would allow us to go in, but I don't remember ever doing this. So I, I saved to in order to um, allow me to go back if I do something wrong, but let's just see what this does. Air venting system offline. Yeah, and I'm not going to bother with sealing the door because Fox is our friend, and even though I don't think it would do anything, it doesn't sound right to seal him in there. Um, okay, so now he's going to go get the Gek, and like I was saying, you don't need Fox. You can do this yourself. I forget what you have to do. Yeah, you can see him right there. You can also watch him through these um, these windows. Um, I know you need, like, a radiation suit. I know you need, like, other things. But I, I know it is a possibility for you to go in there. I know you need Radex to, st uh, to give you some resistance. But I just remember reading that you can go do this yourself. I've never done it, though. Um, it'd be interesting to, to see what happens and what's in there. I've, I have never done it. kind of want to save and try it. But I don't think it's going to work out considering we don't have... Yeah, it, there's no way I could do it, because um, we don't have any Radex, we don't have the environment suit or anything like that. So I die, like, before I would even get to the door. So sorry, guys, can't show you that. Jack, our bargain is complete. As promised, here's the Gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Oh, I have a feeling we will, Fox. Good luck, my friend. Some of you may be saying, Grovana, you said he was a companion. What the hell? He's leaving now. Uh, actually, can we talk to him? Yes? What is it? You can't come with me? Sorry. I'm afraid a super mutant. Wouldn't be welcome in the places you frequent. All I would do is cause you undue attention and you know, probably get you killed. I have to go now. Farewell, my friend. I suspect we may meet again. I suspect the same. So yeah, some of you may be saying, Gravani said he was a companion. Well, you'll see you later. Uh, he might just be our companion in due time. You know what? 
just because I mentioned it, I'm going to try anyways. I know it's not going to work out. We were getting more than 100 rads a second, and uh, I believe if you get, let's see, if you get to 1,000, I don't think it's ever happened to me, but, but I'm pretty sure if you get to 1,000, you just instantly die. So, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game, even though I just think I did. But just to make sure, I sure, yeah, I did. Okay. Um, all right, and before we walk in here, let's just see if there's anything that we have that could save us here. Party hat, that'll work. Oh, you can't even see it because we have the other hat. <laughs> yeah, we got that from Sticky. I'm actually going to drop that. Um, right away. Can we put that on a hockey? We can. That's interesting. I've, like, never put stuff. I've never put aid stuff on a hockey. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get our right away out. What just happened here? Did my game just freeze? Yeah, my game just froze. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, so I have my right away. Whoa, you're going back in there? Okay. Alright, so I have my right away on the up D pad, and. Oh, I actually just used one. My bad. Um, let's just see what happens if we seal this door. I want to see. Error magnetic locking system offline. Alright, so I'm just going to run through here, and yeah, I think the Gex over in that. We're not going to make it. Talk. Talk. I am talking. Let's go. Oh, God, I hit the thing. No, no, no. Oh, actually, we can. Okay, 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 okay. So, it does work. Uh, so, that's probably where the Gek is. And we're rapidly reaching um, a thousand rad poisoning. And we're probably going to die right now. Yep. So, I guess that's all we're missing. You can see that the Gek is probably on that little thing right there in the middle. But uh, Fox retrieved it for us. So, I guess you can get it if you have a lot of Radway and if you have uh, Rad X and an environment suit or whatever you can probably easily get it okay so moving on escape from vault that that's our current task right let's see escape from vault 87 yeah now there was one door that we did not go through and i forget which way it was that's a dead end all right so we're gonna have to leave fox behind here let's see i have a feeling there will be more super mutants though so i'm on my toes here but i like i said i know there's a door that we missed um, and it was like locked. Okay, it was this right here. And now it's unlocked. Okay. Oh, oh, this is the term. Oh, right. Okay, so because we activated the terminal that opened the security closet, this is where you can go to get all the stuff you need to get it by yourself. So let's see. We have a first aid box here, blood pack, and a stim pack. Microfusion cells, railway spikes. I always thought it was funny how they have the ammo for the stuff that you have to make, the weapons that don't even exist yet. Three packets of Radaway right and me looting one seem to make this appear, which is an advanced radiation suit, and that's going to allow you to um, take all the radiation, as well as some Radex, which will give you radiation resistance. A locked safe, and three lockers. Let's see, Merc Cruiser outfit. This one's empty, and that one's empty. Let's see what's in this safe here. Oh, wow. This has never happened before. Like, it's going to be harder to freaking open safes than it is for... Uh, no, I don't want to break these lock picks. Oh, we only have two left. I wonder where a good spot is to get lock... Come on, come on now. Be kind. There we go. I wonder where a good spot is to get some lock picks. It's not like in Oblivion you can just go buy... Oh, it probably is. I just don't know. Because usually I have enough. Okay, so I guess we have to go all the way back. That kind of sucks. Or not, because I totally forgot about this part. <laughs> Objective is secured, sir. A what? Uh, but you're dead. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You certain he's unharmed? Bastard. Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. I'm not yes, passing sir. out. Prepare him for transport immediately. I'm gonna right away, sir. kill you. Kill you guys. Just take a nap really, really quickly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we've been ambushed by a couple of Enclave soldiers in Tesla armor, uh, which is a more advanced version of their armor. You can see the little Tesla coils going around, and it's pretty badass, and I love it. 
So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. Well, I'm not going to tell you shit, Colonel Autumn. Uh, but I will talk to you. However, that's going to have to wait for the next episode. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be doing this thing here that we're uh, getting started on in the next episode. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Later. Thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to like and share the video wherever you can. It really helps me out. If you have a question or a suggestion, Twitter is the best way to get in touch with me. And if you'd like to subscribe or watch another video that's going to be related to this one, you can click the annotations on the screen. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.